Have you ever noticed how confidence seems to elude those who wait for it? It's like chasing a butterfly. The harder you pursue, the further it slips away. The secret, my friends, is not to chase confidence, but to attract it. And what is the most potent magnet for confidence? Action. Yes, action is the spark that ignites the flame of confidence within us. It's the willingness to step outside our comfort zones, to embrace challenges, and to move forward even when we're not entirely sure of the outcome. It's about taking that first step and then another and another until we've built a bridge of action that leads us to our goals. Remember, confidence is not a destination. It's a journey. It's not about being fearless. It's about acting in spite of fear. It's about understanding that the path to personal growth and achievement is paved with action. And every step we take brings us closer to our true potential. Think of confidence as a muscle. The more we use it, the stronger it becomes. This is the essence of the confidence cycle, a powerful concept that illustrates the dynamic relationship between action and confidence. It all starts with a single step action. When we take action, we gain experience. We learn what works, what doesn't, and how to adapt to new situations. This experience leads to competence, the ability to do something successfully. And as our competence grows, so does our confidence. But the cycle doesn't stop there. This newfound confidence fuels further action, propelling us forward on our journey of growth. We become more willing to take risks, to embrace new challenges, and to push ourselves beyond our perceived limitations. And with each successful action, our confidence grows stronger, creating a positive feedback loop that empowers us to achieve even greater things. Have you ever found yourself paralyzed by indecision, unsure of which path to take? The truth is, many of us fall into the trap of overthinking, of waiting for the perfect moment or the absolute certainty that never seems to arrive. But here's the thing. Action is not the result of perfect decision-making. It's the catalyst for it. When we take action, we gain valuable information. We see the consequences of our choices, learn from our mistakes, and develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. This process of action and reflection is essential for developing our metacognitive skills, our ability to think about our own thinking. By taking action, we move from a state of uncertainty to one of clarity. We learn to trust our instincts, to make decisions based on the best available information, and to course correct along the way. Remember, the only way to truly know if a decision is right is to take action and see what happens. Section 4. Action Confidence versus Performance Confidence, Two Sides of the Same Coin Now, it's important to distinguish between two types of confidence, action confidence and performance confidence. Performance confidence is about doing something well, about achieving a certain level of skill or proficiency. It's the confidence of the athlete who knows they can sink the winning shot, or the musician who can flawlessly execute a complex piece of music. Action confidence, on the other hand, is about stepping into the unknown, about creating something new, about taking that leap of faith even when we're not sure where we'll land. It's the confidence of the entrepreneur who launches a new business, the artist who shares their work with the world, or the individual who decides to finally pursue their lifelong dream. Both types of confidence are important, but it's action confidence that truly propels us forward on our journey of growth. It's the willingness to embrace uncertainty, to learn from our experiences, and to keep moving forward even when we're not sure of the outcome. Section 5. Decisiveness, the mark of a confident mind. Decisiveness is a hallmark of confident individuals. They understand that action breeds clarity, that momentum is built one decision at a time. They don't get bogged down in endless analysis or allow fear to paralyze them. Instead, they gather the necessary information, weigh their options, and make a choice. Now, this doesn't mean that decisive individuals always make the right decision. They too make mistakes, but they view them as valuable learning opportunities, as stepping stones on their path to success. They understand that the ability to make decisions quickly and confidently is essential for navigating the complexities of life. Remember, indecision is a form of procrastination. It keeps us stuck in a state of inaction, preventing us from moving forward and achieving our goals. So, the next time you find yourself facing a difficult decision, don't be afraid to trust your instincts to make a choice and to take action. Section 6. Unleashing Your Potential. Natural Talents and Self-Belief. 
Each of us is born with a unique set of talents and abilities, gifts that are waiting to be discovered and developed. These natural talents are the foundation upon which we can build our confidence, our sense of self-efficacy, and our belief in our ability to achieve great things. When we identify and nurture our natural talents, we tap into a powerful source of intrinsic motivation. We become more engaged in our work, more passionate about our pursuits, and more resilient in the face of challenges. This sense of purpose and fulfillment fuels our self-belief, our conviction that we have something valuable to offer the world. But it's not enough to simply possess talent. We must also believe in ourselves and our ability to develop and utilize our gifts. This is where self-belief comes in. It's the unwavering confidence in our own potential, the conviction that we can achieve anything we set our minds to. It's the fuel that powers our actions, the driving force behind our persistence, and the key to unlocking our full potential. Section 7. Taking the Leap Action Despite Fear Fear is a natural human emotion, a primal response to perceived threats. It's our body's way of protecting us from harm. But fear can also be paralyzing, preventing us from taking risks, pursuing our dreams, and living life to the fullest. The key to overcoming fear is not to eliminate it, but to act in spite of it. Remember, courage is not the absence of fear. It's the decision to act even when we're afraid. It's about acknowledging our fears, understanding their root causes, and choosing to move forward anyway. Here are a few tips for taking action despite fear. Start small. Break down your goals into smaller, more manageable steps. This will make the task seem less daunting and build your confidence as you make progress. Focus on the positive. Instead of dwelling on what could go wrong, focus on the potential benefits of taking action. Visualize yourself succeeding and let that positive image motivate you. Challenge negative self-talk. When those negative thoughts creep in, challenge them. Replace them with positive affirmations that reinforce your self-belief and remind you of your strengths. Embrace failure. Understand that failure is not the opposite of success, it's a stepping stone on the path to it. Learn from your mistakes, adjust your approach, and keep moving forward. Remember, action is the antidote to fear. By taking that first step, you break the grip of inaction and open yourself up to a world of possibilities. So embrace the unknown, trust in yourself, and take that leap of faith. You might be surprised at what you can achieve.